Hey guys, this is one of the traveling Dutch coming right at you from Costa Rica. Today I'm going to answer a question I get all the time. Why do you live in Costa Rica if Costa Rica is one of the most expensive countries to live in Latin America? Good question. I'll answer it today. But first, if you're new to this channel, I'm a Dutch expat. I've been living in Costa Rica for the last 17 years. With my channel, I'd like to help anybody looking to travel to Costa Rica, move to Costa Rica, or anybody who would like to travel and work online. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and tick that bell icon so you receive a notification every time I upload a new video. Now let's get into it, you guys. First, I guess you need to understand why Costa Rica is more expensive than other countries in Latin America. I don't want to go too deep into that because, first off, I want you to realize that Costa Rica also has the highest minimum wage of all countries in Latin America. So keep that into consideration before you compare. Now, look. The problem in Costa Rica, I mean, it's many. I think the biggest one is taxes. So uh, what I've noticed is that a lot of people here in Costa Rica work for the government. Um, I think I was told or I read in an article like close to 20 percent of people work for the government. And there's something strange going on because the salaries of uh, government employees are absolutely bloated. And then the pensions are absolutely crazy and obviously where does that money come from taxes import taxes are huge anything you buy here in costa rica like electronics well anything that is not local is going to be even more expensive than for example in the united states buying a car here is more expensive than in the united states buying a laptop or anything like that i buy all of that in in the united states to to save money Clothes here are expensive. The supermarket, oh goodness. Again, it depends on which super supermarket you go to and I tend to go to Alta Mercado because I do like the imported products. Like I'm, I'm Dutch, I need my Dutch cheese. You know what I mean? So people ask me why, why do you live in Costa Rica because it's so expensive. Um, first of all, I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't, I don't choose my country based on what the cost of living is. And I try not to compare it because also once you start comparing, you need to be careful that you can't compare apples to oranges. Yes, Costa Rica is the more expensive option in Latin America, but where, where are you from? If you're from LA, if you're from New York, if you're, um, if you're from Norway, if you're from Switzerland, Costa Rica is super cheap. So that's all relative, right? Um, and for me personally, I don't, I can't put a dollar amount on my happiness. I've lived in nine different countries. Um, and I actually left Costa Rica after two and a half years, not because I was done. It was just my mission in life to live and work in as many different countries as possible. So after Costa Rica, I moved on to Panama and then I went to Spain and everywhere I went, I missed Costa Rica. Everywhere I made new friends. I didn't speak about the other eight countries. I only um, spoke about Costa Rica. So basically my conversation would be like, and this one time in Costa Rica. So obviously I, I have an um, attachment to Costa Rica that is based on, on, on a feeling I have. I just, Costa Rica makes me feel a certain way. I know how corny that sounds. It's just, it's just that's how it is. So I don't care. <laughs> that is more expensive. Like I could, for example, I live on and off in, uh, in Colombia because my significant other expanded his business there. So I spent a lot of time in Colombia. There, I don't get that feeling. I'm not, I don't get that happiness in Colombia. Oh my God, it's so cheap. The cost of living is so much cheaper. Of course I enjoy, uh, you know, going to a restaurant and seeing that I pay, I don't know, less than half than what I would pay here but to live there no thank you um so i think you know if it troubles you that costa rica is expensive and you haven't moved here yet then maybe costa rica is not the country for you obviously you need to be able to fit it in your budget and all your costs like whatever income you have <laughs> you know i understand you know that you need to fit it all in and if it doesn't there's many other countries many other options that have a cheaper um cost of living but I mean, my biggest advice would always be when it comes for, 
for income because it's very hard to find a job in, in any of these countries, especially Costa Rica because they protect the local labor law, which they should. So keep in mind that here in Costa Rica, this is the country with the highest minimum wage and compared to where most of you are from, which is the United States, which I can see in the stats of my channel, trust me, your minimum wage is a lot higher. Uh, so if you come to any country expecting to get a job here, A, you can forget that. You will need to find your own way of, to make a living. It's always good to have your own online business. That's what I do. I have several online businesses. One is a travel company, one is, is marketing related, uh, which I actually, by the way, I'm, I'm totally rambling on here, uh, which by the way, this would be something you can do because this is what I started during COVID because of course my travel company was put in a coma when COVID hit and I had to do something for income. So I had a friend that um, she does like, um, you know, digital entrepreneurship, digital marketing online, how to make money online. I know how it sounds, but I was desperate back in the day. So I followed a training on this, the same training she did. And I'm so excited because I actually became successful with it. So now I have like a double income, which is the opposite of what happened during my COVID times where I had no income. So if you are interested in finding out what training I did to, to either, you know, have a side income or you could totally make this your main income. It does take time. It does take work. It's no magic. Make money online and things get falling into your lab. You have to do the work. You have to learn, obviously. So check out this training or the information about it in the link below this uh, video there's a description box if you don't see it you need to click on more and then you'll see text that I've written below this video and it leads to a link that leads to a video it's like an um, informational video that I saw when I first started and was all skeptical because for some reason making money online um, sounds like scammy but hey it's me I did it it works you can take my advice or not you know <laughs> however have whatever works for you but yeah be sure to check out that link and um, it will allow you if you do everything right and you work hard you can easily live here in Costa Rica even though it is so much more expensive than other countries in Latin America everything is all relative you guys obviously if you have a very low budget and you're looking to move to a different country, then Costa Rica should not be your first pick, right? And I hope, I hope that most of you don't have to pick your country based on money, because uh, that's not ideal. Most people pick it based on, on how they feel when they're there. So, you know what? And if you're looking to move to Costa Rica, you're not here yet, do a lot of research. Check out the videos on my channel, right? It's free information. It's like, you know, I've already gone through this I've been over 17 years you can you know learn from it check it out it's literally how to move to Costa Rica how to get like the all the how to's it's all there just be sure to click on my name Wanda the traveling Dutchie click on videos and then I actually have specific playlists on Costa Rica living Costa Rica expat life so those are the ones you want to check out to get all the golden information before you move to Costa Rica. I hope you do make it to Costa Rica. It's a very special country. Obviously, I love it. Any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you got any value from this, hey, help me out and give me a, a like, a thumbs up, or a comment just to help the algorithm so this video gets seen by more people, which obviously helps me. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao from Costa Rica. Pura vida.